Uh, yeah, good to see you. It seems like only yesterday we were back here speaking at the end of last season. <laughs> yeah, maybe um, it was yesterday. <laughs> well, it could have been. Yeah. Um, it, it's obviously been a, a relatively short period. Mm. How busy has it been for you? And do you feel you've done the business you need to to put Huddersfield in a position to, to challenge this year? That's all I want to talk about. <laughs> Give me a second, please. First of all, happy Yorkshire Day, mate. Love that, absolutely. Huh? What do you know Shouldn't about start. Yorkshire Day? Oh, I know a bit. It started all with the government, I think. Yeah? So when was it, 1975 or something like that? I'm not quite sure, but round about that. I've heard it, so I read it, so I had a Yorkshire tea this morning. Was it good? good? Yeah, getting used to it. How, how do you take your Yorkshire tea? Sugar, need a bit of sugar, some milk. No, it was good, to be fair. No, I liked it, to be fair. So happy Yorkshire Day to all of you, first of all. And uh, uh, as you said, I'm quite pleased to um, be here once more, back again. Short time, as you said. And um, you had a couple of questions. I maybe can't answer them now all, but it was a very tough summer, to be fair. Very intensive, and I already mentioned it when we started, um, and it nearly started in the last three weeks of the of the um, of the season last year. So very intensive. We had to look at everything. We went through all the details, um, and it was of course busy because um, it was a short time frame until the 8th of August, and still a bit time left. So we're still working, and um, it was good that we. Yeah, started in a fresh way because when the players come back, their minds were refreshed, and then we had a really good preseason. I would say, good results. But as I said once before, I never get overexcited because um, at the end the preseason is there to prepare yourself. But the next or the following games will show where we are, and um, yeah, I'm really excited to go forward and really looking forward to it. There's obviously been some high-profile players, Jonas Lursel, Philip Billing, this last week amongst them that have left the club. You brought new players in. I, I know when you took the job you said it was your team and you were going to try and do what, what you could, but now you've had a summer to perhaps try and mould it. Does it feel like your team now? Yeah, I would say so in a way. The, you know, we obviously knew and everybody said it as well, the chairman said it and made a um, clear statement to it. We knew that it's a very difficult transfer period after a bag of relegation and this is always like that. So. We know that it just can be fully my team maybe after three windows, which is clear and it's, it's normal because of the things which happen and uh, all the stuff. But um, what feels for my team is like that we have a good togetherness, a real togetherness and we are really um, together with the players. We have a good atmosphere in the training, which maybe as well brought the results we had in pre-season. So it was a consequence out of that because we are very focused on the things which we are doing and um, I'm very pleased in the way all the that's worked. Um, unless the players who quality players who, who left us, but um, the way and the workload which the players put in in preseason really impressed me. And um, to be very honest, I'm enjoying every day being with them on the pitch. Outside of the club, whenever a team gets relegated from the Premier League, they're always then tipped next season to be amongst the favourites to to go back up. But we mm. saw with the likes of Stoke City last season, it, yeah. it's not so straightforward. Yeah. So what's your perception, what's your outlook for this club and the season that lies ahead? I think I made it very clear because, first of all, as you said, it's very hard to bounce back. So um, why should we think of it directly? So for us, it's important to have a plan how to get back in the Premier League once. We don't know how long it will take, but important is that we, first of all, stabilise ourselves. And we had an experience of losing matches, which isn't a nice one, as you can imagine. So important for us is now to stabilise in winning, to get back to the habit of winning and um, to win matches. And honestly, I know maybe we can't win all matches. Yeah? And I know that there will be defeats as well. I know that there will be draws. But important is for us to bring forward the winning mentality. And with the winning mentality, you will win games. And honestly, I'm quite um, glad that we started already in the, in the last games of the Premier League where we were unbeaten and then brought this into the pre-season. So we are working on this mentality and um, yeah, it's important for us as a club now to do the first step and not the second before the first step. So be prepared for, for the things which you, which you ask now and I think we are. Well, that leads very nicely on to what I was going to say next, which is it's very easy to talk about it being a new season, new division, clean slate for everybody. Yeah. But as manager, how, how acutely aware are you that there could be a hangover from what's gone before? Well, as you know me now, I'm a very positive person. So um, I got 
rid of the things maybe which happened last year on my own. Um, I had my way in dealing with it and um, I helped the players when they came back then to deal with it. So when we all started, um, it was, was in a way refreshing. And um, you could really see it. So important is, I think, first of all, that we isolate the season from each other. Because the past is the past and the future is the future. And a much more future orientated than past orientated. So I'm um, really looking forward to the season and to the, the game against Derby on Monday. With that in mind, then, how optimistic are you about Huddersfield's chances of not just promotion, but just a top six finish that puts you in contention? You know, I, I don't think football like that. Because... Um, as you said, first of all, we have a team which is in a way new. Of course, there are um, experienced elements in our team and definitely um, in our lineup against Derby. So players who, who were here and uh, really had a good um, history with this club. And to link to this good history, I think it's important that we first of all see how we start in this season. So the first six games, maybe until the inter first international break, will show us where we really are. And I just focus on that. So on each game, you have to learn something. And um, it's, it's the belief in what we're doing. And the belief is there. So I'm really, I'm really keen on, on, uh, on starting because then I really know where we are. And then I, it shows me um, on which things we can work and on which things we all together are uh, yeah, possible to, to build the, the foundation for, for this season. Is this an opportunity then for this bunch of players? Is that the way they should look at it? I think it's an opportunity for all of them. Definitely, because... I think they were themselves disappointed of what happened last year. So, um, and the young ones who came in who really impressed me and the ones who maybe were on loan who came in and impressed me, they, are, they were in a way not part of it. So why should we focus on the things which happened in the past? It was more like getting the team together, getting the togetherness, getting a belief in because in the things we're doing while winning. And yeah, as I said, I don't want to get overexcited about the preseason because I try to look at it in a quite neutral way. Because for me it was more, okay, defensive stabilization, yes, we conceded less goals. Um, how was our game in the middle third? How was our attacking play in the, in the last third? And we, can, we scored many goals, so that made me proud. And I could see that the things which I'm working on the pitch came back in the games. So this is how I work and um, I know to build a foundation you, you need calmness, you need trust and you need really enjoyment to, and excitement to do the things which you do. What about Derby Counts then? Because like Huddersfield, I guess they're a club that have undergone a lot of change in this summer. Players have gone out. Yeah. Frank Lampard's gone to Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Luke Koku is now the manager. Yeah, first of all, big credit to um, Frank Lampard. I think he did an excellent season with the lads who were there, and um, they really did well. And I could watch the the playoffs, so um, yeah, very interesting for me as well because we play them now in the fifth, and I still know that there are changes, and a different manager brings a different style. And I know um, about the, the teams, um, Philippe Cocu was the manager in, 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 um, abroad. So um, I know how he played and uh, had a look at it, of course. And um, now the game is more for me to think of what we could do against them. So not to focus too much on what they do, because I know their qualities, yes. But I know our qualities and I want to show our qualities. What, what do you know of him? Because obviously it's the first time... English football fans will have seen him as the manager. What type of football does he like to play? How does he set up his teams generally? I think in a way we are quite similar. I think he likes to play with the ball. Of course he has a good defensive structure as well, but he likes attacking football and uh, the way he plays is uh, very, I would say, um, Dutch and modern. Yeah, because the Dutch always had a good, um, had good managers and they are very um, close to modern football always, so always up to, up to date and uh, good elements in it. So. I think he's a very good manager and I'm, uh, I'm pleased to meet him then on Monday. Just finally from me, are you ready to go? Are you excited? Definitely. <laughs>